What are you doing in my pantry? You guys were in the fridge, now you're in here? It's all good though, listen. I actually just came in here to grab some buns because you voted on the poll last week and you wanna see the At Home series more, which is where we make famous restaurant dishes here at the house. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. And we're gonna start with the McDonald's filet of fish sandwich. Super popular online right now, one of my favorites and actually incredibly easy to make at home. Listen, the last At Home series we did with the McDonald's breakfast burrito, we filmed it all weird, we tried to be out of the box, but listen, I'm just gonna be up in your face and personal for the rest of this video so you can figure out how to do it. Let's go. Hey, I'm Farnham and this is the At Home series. If it's your first time tuning in, please scroll down and hit that like button and most importantly, hit that subscribe button. We're doing the fish fillet. It's gonna be super easy, but incredible. Let's hit the breakdown. All right, so the breakdown of the sandwich is we've got a steamed bun right here with some tartar sauce on it, a little bit more tartar sauce right here. Underneath that, half a piece of American cheese and a sadly fried cod. No, seriously, this is sad. And then underneath that, we just got a plain bun. Like you don't even need this thing. So. Let's make ours. All right, we're gonna start with the tartar sauce. So we're doing one cup of Duke's mayo. Then we're doing one teaspoon of Dijon. Then we're just doing a dash or two of what the f sauce. Next, we're gonna finally dice one small shallot. Next, we are gonna finally dice two cloves of garlic. Next, we're gonna finally dice a quarter cup of garlic dill pickles. Next, we're gonna finally dice one and a half tablespoons of capers. Next, we got the juice of half a lemon. Next, we're gonna finally dice a tablespoon of chive. Next, we're gonna finally dice one tablespoon of fresh dill. All right, now we're gonna do about 30 cranks of black pepper and a generous pinch of salt, and now we mix. All right, let's taste test this tartar. Damn, that's amazing. Let's go. All right, we're starting off with one cup of flour. Next, we're adding two tablespoons of garlic powder, one tablespoon of Old Bay seasoning, one tablespoon of smoked paprika, one teaspoon of fresh black cracked pepper, a hefty tablespoon of salt. Now we're gonna whisk our dry ingredients. Next, we're gonna crack in one egg. Then we whisk. Now we're gonna add our beaten egg in and whisk. Now crack your Corona. What the? And now, after you take a sip, We're gonna add about eight to 10 ounces in. We'll whisk as we go. All right, so I added about eight ounces of the beer in and it's a nice viscous texture, kind of similar to what a ranch would be. Drippy, it's perfect, it's not too thick. It's gonna coat our fish perfectly. In a separate bowl, we're gonna do half a cup of flour. All right, the last thing we gotta do is get our cod ready. We got a nice piece here. We'll be able to get about two sandwiches out of it. Let's cut it up. All right, so I'm gonna take the top of a bun that I'm gonna be using. So I'm gonna wanna cut it to about here. So that's our first slice, and then we can just kind of measure down, get a second slice right there, that's the second patty, and maybe we could even squeak out a third one. Yeah, I think we'll be all right. All right, so the only thing we gotta do is just hit these with a little bit of salt and pepper. We have so much seasoning and flavor in our batter and in our tartar sauce that we don't really have to do much besides hit this with a little coat of salt and a little bit of pepper. So I know some of y'all gonna be like, how do you get the bun steamed like McDonald's? Well, here's how. You take your bun, you get a big pot right here, a little bit of water in the steamer basket, about eight seconds in that little sauna, and it's gonna be perfect. Then we're gonna travel on over here. Welcome to my crib. Large cutting board. We got our three fillets right here of our cod. Next to that, we got our dry, which is our flour. Then we go into our batter. And once we are in the batter, we pull it up and we pop it into our fryer at 365 degrees until nice and golden brown. So I know y'all asking, what do we do next? We fry, let's go. We're taking our cod fillet and into our flour. A nice light coat on every surface that we have here. Make sure you get in those little crevices, just like that. Hit the sides, hit the top, hit the bottom. Again, just gonna make sure that we get every little thing coated. Then we're gonna shake off any of the excess. Flip it, excess. We don't want excess. It's a recession of flour right now. Then we're gonna step on over here and we're going to dunk. Dunkin' Donuts right now, right inside there. Go ahead, we're gonna get that right on top, just like that, beautiful, pop it down. Then we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna lift this puppy out of there, drain any of that excess that we have on there off into our fryer. 
Give it a wave, give it a wave, and voila. We are in the fryer. It has only been about 45 seconds, and we are looking beautiful and golden brown. Yo, I don't know about your guys' cod that you're gonna fry at home, but mine is literally rapping at me. Look. I'm loving the way this is looking. Check that puppy out. Oh yeah, that's, that's a beautiful beer batter right there. Ladies and gentlemen, give him a round of applause. All right, it's been about two minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and give this guy a flip because he deserves it. Let me get in here like that. Beautiful, wham, just like that. Are you kidding me? Look how beautiful this thing is. Golden brown all the way around, crispy as they come. We gotta hurry up and hit this with some American cheese real quick, let's go. Yeah, it's time, let's go. Get a nice little extra melt on there so we're not anything like McDonald's. Last thing we gotta do is steam the bread. I'm not kidding, eight seconds, that's all we need, let's go. Very hot, very hot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's go. Pull them boys out. Nice. Oh, so soft. My buns are so soft. My top so soft. It's time to put together the fillet. Oh, fish. Lil Wayne song remake. I'm sorry. Let's let's put the fish together. Come on. All right, it's taste test time first off, but can we talk about this versus this? Now, I would take a bite out of this and I would try it, but it's like four hours old and I don't wanna get sick. So, we're going straight for this big guy right here. Oh, the bun is so soft. Three, two, she's slipping, she's falling. Mm. It's crispy. This is one of the most incredible fish sandwiches I think I've ever had. Oh my God. Dude, what the f The crunch from the beer batter, the zing from that tartar sauce, the soft bun. As crazy as it sounds, that American cheese just kind of pulls everything together and gives it like a little bit of a creaminess. The seasonings in our batter are amazing. Listen, I'm not trying to shit on McDonald's. They serve their purpose. I've loved filet of fish my whole life. It's just different. When you make it at home with fresh ingredients, it's fresh, it's amazing, it's, it's perfect. It is the best fish sandwich I think I may have ever had. I just need to know, if you guys like this style of video and you like the at home series, I really need you to hit that like button and that subscribe button and comment below the next one you wanna see. Y'all voted for this on the poll. I'm delivering, so hopefully y'all enjoy the video. My name is Farnham. This is the at home series. We out. What's she yawning? Fish fillet?